They were followed by the road manager, Gary, who was walking with a cane due to a recent injury. He was followed by another member of their crew, Craig Reed, who looked really stoned, with red squinting eyes and a mild smile. I'd met Craig earlier in the day, found him to be a hard worker who had been with the band for quite a while. They'd picked him up early in their career. In spite of his stoner appearance and easygoing attitude, he was highly professional and took excellent care of the band, making sure everything was in its place and ready to go. At the time, I didn't know exactly what Craig did. He was definitely a lead man on the crew, and he took care of whatever was needed. Most crew members were specialists of a sort, assigned to take care of one member of the band. Craig seemed to kind of float around and see to everyone's needs rather than being attached to one single musician like the rest. And don't let that stoner appearance fool you. He was always on top of his game. And he was, more often than not, really, really stoned. My hat's off to anyone that can pull that off. The only person I'd known that could perform as well with a full stone on was Willie, that red-headed stranger, and his entire band, of course, and crew. We used to laugh a lot about that. I'd kid him about playing the same song two or three times during his performance. He'd get a kick out of it as he rarely realized it, or at least paid little attention to it, and the audience seemed to love it. 